technical validation, it's also a major win for Google Cloud because Meta would have to run every TPU inside of Google. TPUs have give Google real efficiency gains. And remember, too, that Anthropic has already committed to expand. They can swing harder than the fundamentals. Just Google itself went from broken to beloved in a matter of months. Sufficiently huge, whether or not they are on paper. The federal government is kind of the insurer of last resort. I think the government ends up as like the insurer of last resort, but I don't, I think I mean that in a different way than you mean that. Example of this is Project Suncatcher mm. two weeks ago where we announced we're going to build data centers in space. It's a matter of time. And so how do you make progress on that? You work back, work back and have 27 milestones. Google just made every other AI company nervous and Sam Altman's leaked memo proves it. The CEO of OpenAI basically admitted they're in trouble, warning his team about rough vibes ahead because Google caught up faster than anyone expected. This is the same company everyone wrote off just 18 months ago when people demanded their CEO step down for falling behind in AI. Now they're positioned to dominate the entire industry, and I've discovered exactly why. The leaked memo to OpenAI staff reveals something shocking. Sam Altman specifically warned that Google will create temporary economic headwinds for their company. He's trying to stay positive, but the underlying message is clear. OpenAI's massive lead has evaporated. For years since ChatGPT launched, OpenAI dominated with the best performing models on the planet. That gap? It's gone. In some cases, Google and Anthropic are now beating ChatGPT's performance metrics. But here's what everyone's missing. Benchmarks are just the beginning. Google's stock price surged over 22% in just one month, and for a company already worth $3 trillion, that's an astronomical increase. Investors finally understand what I'm about to show you. Google has assembled the perfect storm of advantages that no other AI company can match. Sam Altman knows this, which is why his memo gets even more revealing. He admits ChatGPT has become synonymous with AI for most people, just like Google became a verb for searching. People say, I'll chat GPT that, the same way they say, Google it. But he's worried this won't last forever, especially when companies start leveraging their unique advantages to integrate AI deeply into everyday products. Sufficiently huge, whether or not they are on paper, the federal government is kind of the insurer of last resort. I think the government ends up as like the insurer of last resort, but I don't, I think I mean that in a different way than you mean that. They're coming to the point in their maturity where we are clearly seeing together huge enterprise demand, really the time for, I think in 2026, 2027, we'll see a huge transformation of how enterprises think about this. The most telling part comes at the end of his memo. He writes about how OpenAI must simultaneously be the best research lab, the best AI infrastructure company, and the best AI platform product company. That's an almost impossible task, and it reveals the core challenge facing every AI company today. So I analyzed every major player through this lens, examining what it really takes to win the AI race. The results will shock you. I evaluated Google, Microsoft, Meta, Apple, AWS, XAI, OpenAI, and Anthropic across every critical factor for AI dominance. And before you say Apple isn't an AI company, just wait. They're playing a longer game than you think. Let's start with frontier models the absolute baseline requirement. You need one of the best models on the planet, or you're not even in the game. Google's Gemini 3 Pro crushes this requirement, ranking among the top three models globally. It beats GPT-4 across nearly every benchmark. Microsoft? They're working on something through their AI division, but details remain scarce. Meta fell behind, but hired top researchers and is pouring capital into catching up. Apple chose a different path. They're not building frontier models at all, Instead, partnering with companies like Google. AWS has their Nova family, decent for many uses, but not competing at the frontier level. Meanwhile, XAI, OpenAI, and Anthropic all maintain frontier level models. But models alone don't win wars. AI infrastructure determines who can actually deploy these models at scale. This is where things get interesting. Google, Microsoft, Meta, Apple, AWS, and XAI all have their own infrastructure. You might question Apple, but their silicon strategy is brilliant. Their chips excel at running models locally and power their private AI clouds. OpenAI and Anthropic? They're still building, with projects like Stargate requiring massive capital raises every time they need expansion. 
This infrastructure requirement creates a brutal reality. Every data center buildout forces OpenAI and Anthropic to raise more funding, creating existential risk. Meanwhile, Google, Microsoft, Meta, Apple, and AWS fund these investments from existing revenue streams. Mark Zuckerberg said something profound about this. Meta would rather risk wasting hundreds of billions on AI than risk losing the race entirely. Then he added the killer line, even if they're wrong, they won't go bankrupt. OpenAI and Anthropic can't say the same. Technical validation, it's also a major win for Google Cloud because Meta would have to run every TPU inside of Google. TPUs have give Google real efficiency gains. And remember too that Anthropic has already committed to expand. So for most enterprises, committing to Google's full vertical stack, that is a tough sell. It, they can swing harder than the fundamentals. Just Google itself went from broken to beloved in a matter of months. The next strategic advantage surprised me, serving competitors' models alongside your own. Model choice will become crucial as companies avoid platform risk by diversifying their AI providers. Interestingly, Microsoft and AWS lead here, serving essentially everyone's models. They've chosen partnerships over proprietary development, investing in infrastructure to serve others, rather than competing directly on model quality. Custom Silicon represents another massive advantage. While everyone can access NVIDIA GPUs, controlling your own chip production changes everything. You optimize the entire stack from pre-training through deployment, reducing costs, and increasing efficiency. Google's TPUs give them a massive lead proven chips already produced at scale. Microsoft and Meta are developing custom silicon but lack production scale. Apple's years-long investment in custom silicon positions them perfectly. AWS has Tranium and other chips. XAI and OpenAI are working on chip development, while Anthropic appears to have no chip strategy. And, and you know, either way, I'll feel that, that it was my fault that, you know, we didn't, make exact, we didn't make exactly the right decision. Still struggling with this, you know, as, as you alluded to, not everyone in the world has has the same uh, has the same perspective. So my feeling is that almost every decision that I make feels like it's kind of balanced on the edge of a knife. Rock five, I think, will be the smartest AI in the world by a significant margin. One zero chance of achieving artificial general intelligence. Um, not that it's a high chance. So for the first time, I think like, well, this 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 really could be general intelligence. At least a small chance. Existing revenue streams separate the survivors from the potential casualties. Google, Microsoft, Meta, Apple, and AWS generate massive profits from diversified businesses, funding AI investments without existential risk. XAI, OpenAI, and Anthropic depend entirely on raising capital, making every strategic decision a potential company killer. Example of this is Project Suncatcher, mm. two weeks ago, where we announced we're going to build data centers in space, it's a matter of time. And so how do you make progress on that? You work back, work back and have 27 milestones. It's also true when we go through these investment cycles, uh, you know, there are moments we overshoot. Actively add what all the companies are doing, uh, you know, we have well over a trillion dollars of investment. We can look back at the internet right now. There was clearly a lot of uh, uh, excess investment. Top researchers remain table stakes. You need them or you're out. Every company except possibly Apple has assembled world-class AI research teams, though Apple's secretive nature makes assessment difficult. AWS has top researchers but isn't developing frontier models, raising questions about their strategy. Consumer hardware will determine how humans actually interact with AI. Google dominates through Android, Microsoft through Windows devices, Meta through VR and smart glasses, Apple through their entire ecosystem, and Amazon through Echo and Kindle devices. XAI has nothing. OpenAI recently acquired a company to develop AI hardware, while Anthropic focuses purely on enterprise software. Large existing user bases provide instant distribution for AI features. Google has search users, Microsoft has office users, Meta has social media users, Apple has device users, AWS has Amazon shoppers, XAI has Twitter users, and OpenAI built 800 million weekly chat GPT users from scratch. Only Anthropic lacks a built-in user base, though their enterprise focus makes this less critical. Data quality might be Google's greatest advantage. They possess search data, YouTube videos, Gmail contents, workplace documents, Android usage patterns, and Maps data, the most comprehensive and proprietary data set on Earth. Microsoft has strong enterprise data, Meta has social data, 
Apple has user data they're reluctant to use, AWS has shopping data, XAI has Twitter conversations, while OpenAI and Anthropic rely mainly on public data plus user interactions. Finally, integration capability determines who can transform raw AI into useful products. Google can enhance Gmail, Calendar, YouTube, Android, and their entire ecosystem. Microsoft integrates across Office and Windows. Meta remains limited to social features. Apple has massive potential they're not utilizing. AWS and XAI lack integration points, while OpenAI and Anthropic must partner with others or build competing products from scratch. Analyzing this comprehensive landscape, Google emerges as the clear leader. They excel in every category except one. They didn't serve other companies' models. But further research revealed they actually serve Anthropic's models through Google Cloud, giving them a perfect score across all strategic advantages. This explains the stock market's reaction. Google possesses the best models, proven infrastructure, custom silicon, massive revenue streams, top researchers, widespread hardware, billions of users, unmatched data, and seamless integration capabilities. They've transformed from AI laughingstock to dominant force in just 18 months. Microsoft ranks second, lacking only a frontier model. Their strategy of serving everyone else's models while building infrastructure mirrors their historical platform approach. Meta and Apple remain well-positioned if they execute properly. But wait, what about NVIDIA? In breaking news, Meta is negotiating to buy billions in TPUs from Google. This doesn't mean Google directly competes with NVIDIA, who partners with everyone, but Google now sells TPUs to other hyperscalers, competing across the entire AI stack from applications to silicon. This comprehensive analysis reveals why Sam Altman sounds worried. OpenAI faces an uphill battle against companies with every strategic advantage. Google didn't just catch up. They've assembled an AI dominance toolkit that might be impossible to beat. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.